Welcome to a new tropical weather update on Hurricane K and Earl. On this video, we are going to look at the latest expected track, intensity, and impacts of both of these storms. Without further ado, let's start by talking about Hurricane Earl. As of 11 a.m. on Thursday, September 8, Hurricane Earl had maximum sustained winds of 105 miles per hour, with gusts to 125 miles per hour. The storm was moving to the northeast at 13 miles per hour, with a minimum central pressure of 965 millibars. The projected path shows Hurricane Earl becoming a major hurricane just southeast of Bermuda Island today. Tropical storm warnings and even hurricane watches are in effect for the island, since Earl will be passing very close by. We then expect the storm to maintain major hurricane status as it accelerates towards the northeast. By the weekend, Earl will be a post-tropical cyclone as it passes by the Canadian Maritimes and moves further out to sea. So what impacts will be felt on land? Tropical storm conditions are expected on Bermuda beginning this afternoon or evening. Hurricane conditions are possible on Bermuda this evening if the track shifts farther west than currently anticipated. Earl is expected to produce rainfall amounts of 1 to 3 inches, or 25 to 75 millimeters across Bermuda through Friday. Swells generated by Earl are building near Bermuda and are expected to reach the U.S. East Coast later today and tonight. These swells are likely to cause very dangerous surf and rip current conditions through the weekend. It's now time to talk about Hurricane K. As of the latest update on Thursday, September 8, Hurricane K had maximum sustained winds of 85 miles per hour with gusts to 105 miles per hour. Movement was northwest at 15 miles per hour, with a minimum central pressure of 974 millibars. The latest forecast track shows K making landfall on Thursday somewhere within the hurricane warning area, which is shaded in red. We expect K to weaken to a tropical storm by Friday, as it takes a turn to the west. By the weekend, Hurricane K will continue to take a turn until eventually moving southward through early next week. Like I've talked about in previous videos, the highlight of Hurricane K is going to be the major flood threat that it will bring to Southern California and surrounding states. This aspect of the storm is very noteworthy since this part of the world rarely sees tropical activity. The main flood threat is expected to start tomorrow, on Friday, September 9. A marginal risk of excessive rain covers parts of the four corner states into Nevada and California. A slight risk of flash flooding is also in place, for Southern California into Southwest Arizona. Lastly, a major threat of flooding is centered in this red area, from extreme Southwest Arizona into Southern California. The flood threat is expected to continue even into Saturday, where we have a bigger slight risk area in place. This slight risk includes places like Las Vegas, Nevada, Los Angeles, California, and San Diego, California. Flash flood watches have already been issued for many locations in the southwest ahead of this upcoming heavy rainfall. If you are under the risk of excessive rain, please be sure to stay weather aware and take action if flooding develops in your area. And that concludes this forecast. Please be sure to subscribe for more weather updates like this one, and I'll see you soon.